So this video is a compilation of many little videos. We have so many things we record. Just thought I'd put this together. It's kind of like a bits and pieces of what we're doing in the Philippines. We're finally done. This is the basket with a little bit of everything. Are you happy with your purchases? I think that means yes. Fruit Loops in the Philippines. My experience with Fruit Loops and it's in the Philippines is that Fruit Loops in the Philippines taste nothing like Fruit Loops I'm used to. They are so different. They taste so different. Nothing like Fruit Loops to what I'm used to. Anyway, that's Fruit Loops in the Philippines. So when you can't find a Kit Kat bar, you just take it. <laughs> this is like a Philippine uh, alternate to Kit Kat. To me, they taste pretty much the same. So go ahead and take it. She loves toilet paper. Look, can't you tell? She just loves toilet paper. Do you love toilet paper? <laughs> Apparently, this is my favorite brand. That's what she told me. <laughs> this is my favorite brand of toilet paper. This, this, I think that's the runner up. There's so much pride in the Philippines. Pride. Lots of pride. Look. Four to six peso. There is so much joy in the Philippines. All of this joy. 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 Joy everywhere in the Philippines. So much joy. Um, it's a different brand? Yeah, a different brand. Okay. That's not the right brand, but it's banana ketchup. Apparently, this is the favorite brand of ketchup. It's called banana ketchup, Ooh. and it's the UFC banana Papa. ketchup. That is ketchup. Papa banana, banana ketchup. ketchup. All banana ketchup. Yes. Something different in the Philippines. Okay, see, this is not the right brand. This is the right brand. Now, tell me, what, what is it about this? When I was in college, I used this to, you know, before I shower to have a whiter and smooth skin. She put <laughs> evaporated milk on her body to give herself whiter skin. <laughs> but it turns out dark. <laughs> so I guess it's a fail. You have lots of brands to choose from. Maybe this will make your skin whiter. I don't know. Great value, but it's not Walmart. Sugar in the Philippines. What do you think of chicken that's left out in the open like this and not in cellophane? What's your opinion? Not in cellophane? Yeah. This is this one. Once this one is already out of stock, they will cut it. So it's okay that it's not cellophane? Mm. He says it's okay. It's a little different. Something's fishy in the Philippines. Lots of lemons, and I think they're pretty reasonably priced, at least one to, you know, comparison to what I'm used to back home. Pepsi, in the Philippines. That's your dollar amount, that's Philippine pesos. Pepsi, in the Philippines. If you're wondering about bread in the Philippines, here it is, bread in the Philippines. And the price, convert it to your money, and know how much bread costs in the Philippines. It might help your life be very bready. <laughs> We're heading to the Philippines. This is a new and improved screen. You see this? The hall got magnets from the kind of like a dollar store here in the Philippines. <laughs> You're laughing in the back. And she attached magnets to her own material that she sewed and made. So now when we go out, you see it just kind of clamps together on its own, it comes together on its own, you open it, comes back together, and you she made it so herself. Funny. It's awesome. This is a staple in the Philippines. A must-have. 
do you have like rice because you really just love it or just because you grew up with it or like what's the reason for always wanting and loving rice because we grew up with rice like rice is life in the philippines so this was another place and we were just driving down the road here in valencia city in mindanao and we've seen this little cafe kind of an outside cantina we even got the word up there cantina and uh, we just you know drove by this almost every day and pretty much every day and didn't really uh, pay much mind to it so this time we saw it and hey let's go in there and see what it's like and sure enough some, we got a nice little meal there with some burgers and um, a nice little drink there as well and just really delicious that hamburger was fantastic and then of course they had some artwork there on the wall which is kind of cool to see and uh, over on the back wall they had this big um, mural that says Bukidnon spelled out with some cool artwork and a lot of picnic tables there to sit on as well and they had the music playing so I don't know if they get copyright for this or not. <laughs> It starts over here. Okay, this is your reading lesson for today. This is on a bag of rice. Who know each grain all pain? Who know? So I gotta say, this each grain all so pain. Nice to see. I, would just I don't know what it means. Waiting. You have to help me. Help, help me. Help me. Help me. What is it? it? <laughs> oh, we're not sure. This is really dark. Came over from across the street and was helping the blind man out of the bank and helping him to get a ride on one of these trikes. I just thought it was so cool. I mean, he didn't have to help, but he just went out of his way to really help the man across the street, help them onto one of these trikes until he got settled and then uh, left him for his ride. But wow, great, great people here in the Philippines. Really nice. Look at that. Really, really nice guy. It takes a long time. I'm not sure why. Many minutes. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> we're almost here. Try to record. This is, this is a house that we're thinking about buying and moving into. We want to know your opinion. You think we should move into this house? <laughs> Mahal thinks maybe no, but I think it's fantastic. Look at this place. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's half buried. <laughs> Think of the privacy when they fully bury it. The, 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 the small one privacy. is the bathroom and this one is the house. No, guys, we're just trying to um, guess when they're going to demolish this one because in, in the area they're trying to build something. Yeah. And then, yeah, they're dumb dumping some dirt but look at this one we're just asking ourselves when they're going yeah. to demolish this one it's, it's been like they've been working with dirt all around the place yeah. and the house still stands they don't yes. ever tear it down yep we're like does somebody live in there no <laughs> because they don't knock it down yeah uh, it's, so it's look quite at this interesting one. see they're still building on this side too now well, that's curious is that like the workers uh clothing and stuff like is that is that are those temporary shelters for the workers yes they have bathroom they have yeah just a small place to relax huh. yes. and they even clean their clothes and hang them to dry yes huh. that is so there good is. there's your new house you can live underground soon <laughs> they, uh, bury it yeah. things in the philippines yep I can't force you to eat our vegetables because I know you don't feel it like this in your country. Well, some people do, I think. 
And if you live in uh, Asian countries, you will know this. Are you taking all the lady fingers? You're not leaving any for anybody? Yeah, because uh, it's not good to leave this old. <laughs> How fast do they grow back? Uh, just three days ago, Tata gave some to me. You mean they grow that fast? Yeah. Really? Yes. Huh. No maintenance. So this is okra, not Oprah. Not okra. to be confused with Oprah, it's okra. And she's going deep in the forest to get this stuff. Behind the flowers is a Filipina picking lady fingers, also known as okra. Not to be confused with Oprah. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yeah, he's such a good dog. He's such a good dog. You getting better? Huh? You starting to get better? He's been really sick lately. Not sure what happened to him. And he's, he's got this bend in his back. I don't know what that's all about. And he's lost a lot of weight. He's really skinny. We've, we're trying to feed him with the best of everything. Buying, you know, the lichen, manuk and everything. Trying to give him lots of good fattening food. But he's getting better because he never used to be able to even run around like he's doing now. So that's a good thing. Let's see. Can we still find her? She's behind the tree. There she is. She has her bag full. You know what? When I was a kid, we have this. My grandpa used to have a um, vegetable farm. And all of our neighbors have free vegetables. They're picking our vegetables without asking permission. So is, it's a is that okay? Yeah. Picking vegetables from someone's garden and not yes, asking? Yes, without permission. Okay. It's okay. We can help them. I think you're in America. Someone will sue you. <laughs> I think if you're in America, someone will sue you. <laughs> and also, my grandpa used to uh, plant uh, cassava also. And then, uh, especially during summer. And then, when we try to harvest, when we pull out the cassava tree, no more. <laughs> no more roots for us to, you know, cook. Okay. Because they just remove the they dig the roots and remove it without pulling all the trees okay so without permission without permission but we're still kind to them yeah you have a kind family it's very true yeah. sometimes when we visit their house there's a lot of cassava in the <laughs> in the kitchen then it's okay it's yours <laughs> so so that's the end of the yeah, lady the finger picking filipina yeah. She's now in the car, ready when to roll. When we're back, I will pick also my weeds. <laughs> <laughs> she grows weed. But not weed that weed. kind. <laughs> no, it's just malunggay and lemongrass. Yeah. yeah just, it's for free. I yeah. have tatay. Real. But not Real exactly stuff. free because I sometimes I give him um, just a small amount of money. Yeah, well that's yeah. nice. I think you should do that. I think yeah, that's only right. You cannot, you know, sometimes he's working under the heat of the sun just to plant vegetables and all the tenants here are free to pick up some vegetables and I always remember my grandpa before like he's working too hard in a little small amount of money yeah, that's why I can relate to Tatay and I always um, think of him as my my, my late grandpa yeah. Yeah. I thought it was your adopted grandpa. <laughs> yeah. And I talk I, I talked to him and I talked about I asked about his personal life and I told him that Tata did you have do you have any family? Um yeah, I have family but only his immediate family. He doesn't have his own family because he's scared of getting married. Because according to him, what if I find a um, woman who eat a lot <laughs> he doesn't want to get married because the prospective wife might eat too much and he can't afford it he can't afford it <laughs> <laughs> and he said that I'm a small mom but what if, what if she slapped me because I don't give her enough money that's her um, you know 
You don't bring home the bacon, <laughs> you get slapped. <laughs> <laughs> More bacon, it's, dear. It's but kinda, dear, you're, it's you're too of, heavy. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's too, you know, it's it's funny for us, uh, his uh, reason. Reasoning, but yeah. yes, but he's really he's really into you know I'm I'm scared of having a family because what if I cannot provide well and then they're just gonna leave me so it's better for me alo alone and I have my own money I I provide for myself and anyway I'm not alone entirely because some of my niece and nephews visited me here so that's his reason. That's a really interesting point too, what you just mm -hmm. mentioned there. So, do you think that's pretty common that some people are afraid to get married just for the fact that they think they can't afford the family? Mm. Like besides your example, that's uh, one example. Tatay obviously. is rarely. That's a rare. That's <laughs> yes, a rare thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, some are even if they don't have a child, uh, still they want to have a partner. Yeah, to look for them. But that I choose, yes, evening. yes. But that I choose to live alone. Yes. Okay. Before, well. when he's young, he 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 had a girlfriend, but it didn't last long. Would she gain weight? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm and they didn't have they didn't have a child. Yeah. Yeah. He's so, just afraid she's going to yes, get too really heavy, and then she afraid. can't. And she, yeah. then, he, then he can't afford yes. all the rice for her. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. what he said. Yeah, we're just, exactly. We're just, we're just yeah, that's why said. I keep laughing. Like, seriously, Tata, that's your reason that you're scared? <laughs> yes, mom. Because most of the time nowadays, women is kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Especially if you don't have, uh, if you can't provide enough. Yeah. 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 yeah good point. I don't have a scary Filipino. I got a wonderful, <laughs> kind, loving it's Filipino. Itchy. That's about it. God bless you. Thanks for watching. God bless everyone. <laughs> Watch some more. Donate on beautifulbabylove.com. Beautifulbabylove.com. All our channels are listed there. The donate button goes to her bank account. Okay, it doesn't even go to me. I don't even know what you donate. If you donate, it just goes to her. And she goes, hey! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks guys.